What's going on, everybody? Um, you know, it's been a while since I made a video and everything. Been a little busy and stuff. You know, just taking care of little things around the house and stuff, family and everything. You know, everybody get that. But um, that's why I come back to y'all with um a video more or less on you know you got your kit and everything you know you got it ready to rock and roll you know you got your motor your servos all your electronics your wheels tires you know your, your pipe and everything you know everything ready rock and roll your starter box and everything you know your fuel and so on and so forth and stuff you know but the issue that I think um happens to a lot of people is you get to wherever you're going to drive your car and everything, play with your kit and stuff, and then boom, you're out there having a good time, and you hit something, you know, a mysterious hole pops up, you know, um, the curb jumps out from out of nowhere from behind the bushes, you know big tall blade of gla uh, grass or something, you know, a tree or something come from out of nowhere, boom, you lose an A-arm, boom, um, you know, uh, something happens where, you know, boom, you, you broke, now you're down and out. Well, something I learned over the years and stuff, you know, the hard way, uh, basically, you know, I get my kit and everything, I get everything to make it run, but then I don't pay attention to, you know, getting things to keep it running. And everybody know basically, you know, you buy your A-arms and so on and so forth. But what I recommend, especially people with multiple kits and stuff, or you got, you know, um, a truggy and a buggy of the same brand, what I recommend is, you know, stocking up on every part conceivable for though that, that kit, you know. Stocking up on, on all of the parts, you know, from the front all the way through the middle, all the way to the back, you know. And I'm going to show you all basically what it is that I stock up on. Um, this is the first case. And I got a Gama um, buggy and a Gama truggy. Um, let's see here. That's the Gama buggy, the white one right there. And, you know, that's the Gama truggy. So, um, pretty much, you know, we all know that basically a lot of parts are compatible, you know, for any given brand between their buggy and their truggy. You know, basically their truggy is just a supersized buggy, pretty much. So, there's some slight differences, you know, as far as, say, like the, the A-arms. Um, you know, your, your turn buckles, your steering links, um, of course your shock towers are going to be different. Your shocks are going to be different as far as lengths and, you know, stuff like that geometry. But then, you know, say your hubs, you know, wing mount, diff cases, diffs, um, Usually your uh, electronics tray and, you know, all the little pieces to attach the tray to the chassis. Um, usually your brace, um, your steering brace right here. Um, and usually at least this front brace um, that goes from your steering. Um, I guess I don't even know what you want to call this. This the top plate. The steering top plate, um, the brace that goes from the top plate to the chassis usually is the same on the buggy and the truckie. What may be different is the uh, back uh, chassis brace. That may be different, you know, depending on the brand and stuff. And that's usually because the truckies have a longer chassis than what the buggies do. So um, usually they'll come with a longer brace in the back. But um, So what I do is... Most of this is for the truggy because that's basically what I drive the most. But um, I stock up on, you know, these is what, uh, the 
the front lower arms. So these are the front lower arms and stuff. So I got one pair, two pair, three pair, four pairs of those. And so that's so basically it's four pairs and then six including what's on the truggy. Then I got one, two, three, four pairs for the rear, and then you know uh the fifth pair basically is, is on the on the truggy. So if I hit something, break a uh a arm, I'm good, you know. All your little springs and stuff, tuning springs, you know. Basically, every spring that they make for the uh, for the truggy, and a lot of these will also fit the buggy, depending on if I'm using it in the front or back. Usually, um, the back springs on the buggy can be used as front springs on the truck, and vice versa. Front springs on the truck can usually be used as back springs on the buggy, so. Basically, you just have to stock up really on um, the springs for the front of the buggy and the back of the truck. Um, so basically, these are these pretty much are all of the buggy buggy springs and front truggy springs. Then these are pretty much. All rear truggy springs. Yeah. So then, see, these are the go into the uh, uh, your caster blocks and everything, like the suspension bushing and stuff in your caster blocks. You know, extra set of those just in case one gets lost or something. You know, you got your uh, your shock rebuild, all of the O rings, and your know, all of your uh, machined um, spacers and everything for the uh, shock shaft. You know. Uh, More uh, shock shafts, shock shafts, um, bushings for. Let's see if y'all can see that. Bushings for, you know your um, your shock mounts and everything, cause that's a wear item, you know. So if you get a lot of slop, you know. Where your shock cap is and everything, where it mounts to the uh, to the to, to the to the to the uh, shock mount and everything on your on your uh, shock tower. And, uh, here goes some more of the bushings. So let's see. I just take this all out. This little small thing. And, uh, extra shock bodies. Shock cap O rings, you know, spring purchase. Uh, front shock bodies. You know, more shock caps, bladders. Uh, so this is what's in this particular uh, uh, case. Let's see if I can get all this stuff back in here. Uh, sort of just shot this video impromptu. You know, it was all here chilling and stuff, you know, getting a little peace of mind and stuff and everything, smoking a cigarette and stuff. So I said, while I'm out here, let me just. You know, see what I got inside these cases and everything. You know, just show the world and stuff, you know, what it is that I stock up on and everything. Just to make sure that whenever I go out running and stuff, you know, I can stay running. 
And that's the main thing, you know. When y'all did, something happens, you know. You basically want to stay running. So before I get to the rest of the stuff, like I said, because I had the buggy and, and the truckie, you know, another case, and this stuff is more or less, you know, more buggy specific stuff. So, um, these happen to be uh, little O-rings that go for the dust shields and stuff for goes like that you know for your diff case and everything keep dirt and grime out of there so I got a bunch of those also has these little caps you know they go over the burns keep dirt off the burns and everything and some these things like little miscellaneous stuff uh, you know whole gang of you know hub carriers and then keep these because these can break on you um, the whole gang of you know uh, your hubs and everything steering hubs rear hubs another steering hub another steering hub right there buggy specific like rear springs or the, or the front springs I'm sorry the front springs uh, you know, aluminum chassis brace you know if I want to go aluminum for the front aluminum for the rear rear aluminum mount I think these right here are VP Pros. Uh, extra extra wing mounts. Old bumper, you know, still can be used and stuff in a pinch. Another back part of the diff case. Uh, these, I believe, are. Uh, for the uh, hinge pin, uh, screw the hinge pin brace in and everything. Screws and stuff. You know, some skid plates. Uh, whole bunch of your suspension bushings. Hinge pins on top of hinge pins. Now these are something that stock up on these. I mean, for one, depending on your kit, you know, they're probably they probably run you about seven to seven to twelve dollars, somewhere in that range. But we all know, you know, what I mean, hinge pins, they bend eventually, you know, and throw your whole suspension out of whack. So stock up on your hinge pins. And more shock caps. Shot caps right here. Um, more bladders. More shock shafts. Chrome shock shafts. Um, you know, the, the gold titanium nitride coated shock shafts. This one got got some shock, some shock ends and everything. The little shock ends and everything with the ball go in the middle. Um, here got a extra uh, C, CVA. Uh, this is the center one. You know, center rear for the buggy. Another shock tower. Um, couple of the uh, servo saver, uh, the top arm. Extra Ackerman plate. You know, 
You got your option one. You got more option ones, you know, short one, long one. Then you got new style option one. Um, caster bushings. We, like if you run a C-Hub car, you know, extra caster bushings. Tie rod ends, some more suspension bushings, some nuts and bolts, um, a couple extra steering links, extra steering links and stuff. And all your little, you know, uh, balls, balls and stuff like that for uh, for all of the. Um, Tie rod ends and steering links. Uh, extra uh, center diff mount. Uh, got your, your crown gears for your diffs. Cross, you know, your cross braces for your diff. Keep you some um, extra uh, diff gaskets. Some of this stuff should probably be in a bag, but you know, as long as it's in here, it ain't gonna get damaged too much. It ain't gonna get damaged at all. I shouldn't even say too much. But um, diff O rings. Got your uh, diff input gear, pinion gear, a whole bunch of the, your uh, diff sun gears, uh, all your spider gears, you know, all your spider gears and stuff. Keep a bunch of those, you know, those spacers and washers and everything, those shims to keep that shimmed up. Properly, you know, if you guys shim your diff, and some screws, another crown gear, another pinion gear, some more screws, brake discs, um, you know, your wheel, wheel hubs. Some more drive shafts, and some brake pads in here. A um, lot of little. Let's see if we can get these. You know, a lot of these. I uh, I don't forgot what that go to, but you know, I'm pretty sure y'all figured that out. But a whole bunch of those. I can't even remember what that go to. Uh, extra mud guards. More mud guards. Uh, mud guards here. Mud guards. I know I'm just running through this stuff, you know. Sway bars. Some of this stuff, you know, is more option parts. But, you know, like I said, these are for the buggy right here. But, you know, arms. Um, Extra arms, you know, front end rear, you know, more arms, more arms. I said front end rear, so got to keep, got to keep some of that. You know. So that's this one. Like I said, this one is more so the stuff that's going to be mainly for the buggy. Whereas though, in this one, this is truggy suspension arms, buggy some buggy springs, truggy springs and stuff.
another radio plate, you know, radio tray, more, you know, uh, battery tops and stuff for the tray. Front piece of the radio tray. Like I said, as far as the radio tray, I can use that for either the buggy or the truggy. Uh, the, the adjustable part for the wing, you know, that the wing sits on and everything. And a couple of those. Some of your cross braces for the wing. Then you got your wing mount. This one been sanded down and stuff because I was just using uh I was using this actually as another piece to just support the body and stuff. You know, another top plate for the front. More, you know, scare plates. So that pretty much keeps the buggy together. Um, this is more so like engine related, and you know, I got some different shock oils and diff oils and stuff. But, you know, the different ventures, some filters, extra um, fuel tubing, um, air filter tubes extension for uh, the pipes and everything from extension for the exhaust manifold to the uh, tune pipe some springs for the uh, exhaust pipe uh, for the exhaust manifold um, some of the stuff that came little uh, servo mount springs um, servo arm different little bushes and I recommend using the bushings that come with y'all servos. Um, may not seem like a big thing, but using these when you mount your servo to your radio tray, these bushings, the rubber and stuff, stops the vibration, stops your servo from, from vibrating, you know, like a maniac and everything. And then all of a sudden just going out on you. Yeah. And different linkages and everything, servo linkages. You know, then got this right here clutch bell bearings, you know, different sizes, you know, all different sizes, some shims and different sizes. So each one of these. This one's different size shims. This one different size shims. This one has bearings and shims. Um, another radio tray. Uh, another piece of radio tray. Uh, another uh, rear brace um, aluminum mount. Um, got your exalt rubber exhaust uh, gaskets. You know, can never add too many of those. Um, your uh, tune pipe, uh, the mount and everything, then you know, another truggy uh, shock tower, another truggy shock tower, then like I said, some of this stuff is more tuning, but basically, you know, uh, sway bars, different thicknesses and everything. More sway bars, different thicknesses. back more 
parts was just basically spare parts. Uh, another top plate. Um, like I said, another set of front and rear aluminum chassis braces. Plastic chassis brace. More plastic chassis braces. Another chassis brace. More the uh, Ackerman plates, you know, different, different geometry and everything, but you know, a whole bunch of those. Another top plate, plastic rear brace mount. Like I said, I'm just going through. This is just for the Dama buggy and trucking and stuff. You know, just showing like it's cool to like have a bunch of different kits and everything, but it's not cool when you're driving and then your kit, you know, you out there and you bust something up and then you don't got the part. But you got five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twenty, thirty, forty, sixty some kits and stuff. But each kit only got, uh, you know, a bare minimum of spare parts to keep it running. You know, you, my 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 thing is, and something I've learned, and this is why I shrunk my collection down, is better to have, you know, say a couple to several kits, and then all the money you would spend on, you know, having a whole lot of other kits. You know, it's better to just spend that money, you know, instead of spending three, four hundred dollars on, you know, another kit, five, six, seven hundred dollars on a brand new kit, whatever the case may be. You know, it's better to take that money. And once you got the brand that you like to rock with, spend the rest of the money instead of getting another brand, spend the rest of the money, you know, that you would spend on that and get all the parts from A to B for the brand that you already have. Once that's complete, then move on to the next brand. So that way, you know, you'll always have your, whatever brand you run, you can run it, you know. I said more, more uh, tie rods and stuff, you know, rod ends. Another, uh, actually, more than another, but, um, Two more center um, center diff mounts. As you can see, more hubs, rear hubs, rear hubs for days, more hub carriers for the front, uh, more steering uh, knuckles, more uh, you know uh, shock ends, more shock ends. Uh, yeah. yeah, I think this is my C and D block for the rear with more bushings. Um, you know, shock pistons, you know, different holes, different things and stuff. You know, those are option ones, but like I said, you know, got a whole bunch of whole bunch of spares of you know just to stop you know uh shock pistons um more truggy caster uh caster bushings more of the these titanium um nitrite coated of the uh little the caster uh you know the thing to go down in the in the uh here we go See, that's different. Get out of here. Hey, you know. Boom, like that. Like that. Top and bottom. So, 
I can't really remember what the name of this this piece is, but you know, like I said, that's that's what it's for. It goes right in there. But that, you know, ah, that's what the little piece is for for your universals and stuff. You know, your CVAs and everything. You know, keep these. You know, when you rebuild your CVAs and everything. You know, just swap the your little pins out and stuff. You know. There goes the. Uh, I forgot what those pieces called, but the CVA pin goes through there. Excuse me. This goes inside your CVA. That covers up this, you know, CVA boom. Then your pin goes down. That goes in like this. Then your pin goes down through there like that, you know. I said more, more of the pins. There's something else I do. When I get this stuff to make sure that it all fit, you know, inside of here and stuff, instead of trying to stuff the whole, uh, the little placard that it comes on and everything, I just cut the part number out and, you know, the description of whatever that particular piece is, I cut that little block out and then whatever section I put it in, boom. I put that right there in it, so when I do look at it, okay, that's what this is right here. So like, I got these these gears out. So that's what they is, 10 tooth and 18 tooth internal diff gear set. So when I look at these diff gears, I know they different than what the stock diff gears is. You know, but as you can see, you know, a whole bunch of these, Diff gears, sun gears, you know, crown gears, spider gears, um, and your clutch springs, M2C, you know, extra clutch shoes. You know, keep yourself, you know, a couple, couple clutch bells, um, some more of the stock springs, you know, more of the stock springs for the, you know, stock clutch. Metal brake disc, fiberglass brake disc. Uh, keep keep you some brake disc. Keep yourself the brake some of the brake pads. Uh, make sure you had had that. You never know. Like I said, you know. Let's just keep keep it one hundred. You know. We call them A 